Hey everybody, and welcome back to Mighty Number no. 9. We are on Mighty Number no. 3, and today I am joined with... Evil Mastermind! Hello! Aha! Yay, it's, uh... It is, of course, the, uh... Oh. Evilest of levels, too. So yes. It, 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 it is very fitting. It, it, this, I feel like, is Muddy Number 9, like, condensed. Every single just level design problem writ large. Oh. We'll find out soon enough, that's for sure. <laughs> Automatically, we have Sonda trying to speak uh, French in some way and not even trying not even trying hey he is acting as hard as he can I doubt that I doubt that so much so uh, from the last video of course I've said that uh, Brandish's weapon is probably one of the best weapons in the game and I'm going to abuse the fuck out of it because it's one of the best weapons in the game it doesn't yes. actually take up any uh, like, whatever, uh, energy just to use it normally, so you can just spam the fuck out of it. I also noticed that it's going through those guys' shields, which is pretty nice. Yeah, I was, uh, I was actually completely surprised about that, so I was like, oh, this is, this is immediately the best weapon in the game. Also it turns you into not zero. Yeah, not zero. <laughs> There's a lot of not zero in this game. Yeah. You're the original character, Vero. <laughs> More or less. But uh, I actually have no idea why you'd ever really want to use the charge moves on Brandish's stuff. To be fair, I haven't really fucked with it enough. But well, like, maybe you just want to like not be in control of your character for a while, not be able to stop. Right. Right. Yeah. That, so that's a possibility. So that there is uh, that for sure, and of course I do believe that. Uh, I have no idea how I hit that one over it, over the wall there. I, I was I was very much confused. Uh, I do actually believe that Cryospheres has one of the better uh, oh, weapons in the game. And here I'm actually forgetting. Oh, I didn't set any weapons up for the quick select. <laughs> My I God, feel... that's you know that's going to affect your overall time at the end of the stage. Oh yeah, and, and it's a very important thing to ha make sure that time is yeah, set I mean, up properly. That determines your value as a person. Yes, yes, of course. Well, you know, uh, you don't want to be crying like an anime nerd on prom night or whatever. I know. The fuck. I mean, at least not right now. I mean, no, trying to no, focus on the game. Exactly. <laughs> And Sonda proves that he is still the best character ever. His character trait is that he's a man child. Much like everyone that plays this game. <laughs> oh snap! Or, I mean, God, you can't. I mean, if 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 the uh, the advertisement is to be believed. Oh. Thanks, Brad. Fall before my blade. That that was literally those he, bugs literally did nothing. Yeah, they're on the outside of that corridor, so he saved you from the thing that cannot touch you. Um and actually, funnily enough, that is his only uh interaction with the stage. That is his only interaction is to do something that literally has no bearing on the stage yep. at all. I mean he, even Cryo took out, like, the things in the background that were shooting fire, and she was at least helping, question mark? Yeah, um, you know, as, as much help as uh, yeah. Cryo can be, I guess. And I see we've now reached the giant glowing buzzsaw factory. For, for no reason. Yes. Like, the level design here is pretty amazing, and very well thought out. Yes. Well, they're supposed to be turbines, but I'm sorry, they just look like giant buzzsaws. They're, they're totally giant buzzsaws. That's more than... it, it's a very vertical level for... for I'm it not is. sure why. And there's really not a lot of enemies. Oh, and here's the best part! <laughs> Use the crouch dash, remember that's a thing? The what now? 
the, the crouch dash, you know, that they told you about in the in the opening level, which you didn't actually have to crouch dash for. It just automatically did the dash. Oh, right, that move you haven't used for the entire rest of the game. And I'm pretty sure I won't be using it at all. That's right. Right, the crouch dash. Bring it on. That is that is just some amazing design, right there. It's I'm, <laughs> honestly, I I am a bit afraid too. Is like I hold crouch the whole time because I'm afraid that if I don't, I won't actually crouch dash. Because I I wouldn't put it past this game at all. At all. Well, the. The other amazing thing, too, is that it doesn't tell you, hey, you have to crouch dash instead of normal just dash unless you get, like, within half a pixel of the giant buzzsaw thing. Yeah, you're, you're almost about to die, so yeah. might as well learn about the crouch dash now. So you'd probably be seeing that as you were regular dashing into the buzzsaw, which I'm pretty sure I saw you do the first time you streamed this quite a few times. Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. I, uh... Uh, and, and it wasn't so much that, like, I mean, the first time, sure. The second time, I was just too far away. So you actually have to be fairly pixel close for those. Right. The timing is, well, the spacing, I should say, is pretty ridiculous. Yes! The power! So much delicious power! I hate her speech. Uh. Oh, it's intoxicating! I feel dizzy! I hate her speech <laughs> so fucking much. Dinah? What are you talking about? She's so clever about these puns. Silence! Like, I'm like, do, do we really have to do the Z shit? Like, this is just. Well, how else are you supposed to know she's an insect? Is My an God, insect? it's like you've never played a video game before. Wait, wait, is she supposed to be an insect? I thought so. Isn't she like a bee? Like a bee thing or something? I thought she was just because she was into electricity. Oh. Either way, it's stupid. Y yeah, either way, it's stupid. It's bad design. And actually, I'm not going to use a metal blade against a uh, electrified enemy. Well, why Even would you? That you get electrocuted. Her... Right? Even though that is somehow her weakness. I, I, w I would think the... Like, fuck. I, w I would think water would be better than that. There we go. So what do so, these little things that are that attached to you do? They do basically nothing. They're basically conduits for uh, for her little lightning attack. Ah. That you know, so any place that they are, they'll uh, they'll get zoomed. They'll, yeah. And and that's about it. So She's I'm actually Oh go sorry, go ahead. Oh, she's actually a fairly easy boss. You don't even need to use any of the uh, weaknesses on her. She's yeah, I was going to say, I'm wondering if they intended her to be, like, the first boss, the one you don't need to use any weaknesses on just so you can get a weapon. Probably. Because, I mean, uh, you're just chewing through her with the basic buster. Yeah, I, I will say it was a lot harder uh, when I was doing mouse and keyboard. Oh, I would imagine. Because... Yeah, it's hard to just mash properly. I also Luckily noticed she though. does not have an insta-kill. That's unusual. Yeah, no, no. Uh, sh her and um, Brandis so far are the only ones I know that don't have an instant kill. Actually, there is one more. But he, what, what his ability is, or at least I think what his ability is, is that it just fucks with your controls, so... Oh, that's boring. Yeah, it's it's super boring. But, speaking of, uh, super boring, her power is super boring. You got the unicorn horn! <laughs> it pretty much is. But it's not as good as the that, uh, Binding of Isaac space bar weapon. Go ahead and choose your next target. But let's learn about it, shall we? Oh, let's. It's... Configure controls. And now it, it's a it's a pretty nifty idea. I like it a lot. The problem is you pretty much have to shotgun it for it to be of any practical use. And it does, and it only attaches to enemies. Enemies, only enemies. So it you can't. Will not... Yeah, you can't set up like a neat little wall, or you know, shoot a line of electricity through a group of enemies. No, 
No, of course not. Well, that would be fun. That I, I do appreciate that you can go do, attach it, tether it onto something, and, and then eventually it will, uh, you know, like when it's weakened, you can absorb it from afar. I think that's really cool. Bye for now. It's just, man, it takes forever if you just put it on one person. Right, and really you're better off just... Run, I mean, if you're going to do that, you're better off just running up to them, shooting them, killing them, and dashing through them. More or less, yeah. It, I mean, the way it shoots out is very bad. I don't know. It's just uh, like I, again, like it, it's like a shotgun blast, but the shotgun blast sucks. So it's really just indicative of pretty much every other weapon in the game. More or less. Yeah. Oh, well, at least we're staying on point, point. and that, I think uh, really that is the important thing about Muddy Number no. Nine is that no matter how bad it is, one part of it is. Some other part of it is equally bad or worse. More or less. But with that, though, I will thank you all for joining us, and we'll see you next time.